welcome to a big mess of orange tools. What on earth are these? Well, I'm going to tell you all about them in this video coming right up. Make sure you subscribe, hit a like, and let's get into it. So these are Boddington's, not the beer. That is nice, but these are nicer. These are quite special tools because they are insulated tools that meter fitters here in the UK use well not just meter fitters but the people who work for the dnos distribution network operators like uk power networks etc they are required to work with these tools because of the high quality and insulation rating that they have so i'm going to just strip these bags open and i'm going to talk you through all of the tools here let's go so as always there'll be links in the description below where you can get yourself one of these and I've had some of these tools before, but never this whole selection. So I must admit, I'm quite excited about this. So on my right, we have here the screwdrivers. Now, Boddington's, Boddington's Electrical is a brand of high quality tools. I've never had their screwdrivers before. As you can see, the brand color is orange, and I think it looks pretty awesome. I like the color orange and gray. I like the fact that on the end you've got a clear marking to show which screwdriver it is so you can see it and grab it straight away from your toolkit. And the grip on these, I must admit, it feels really, really nice. These are 1000 volt insulated, which all VDE screwdrivers are supposed to be. So I'm not quite sure why the meter fitters, uh, the, the people who work for the DNO are required by their company policy to use Boddington's tools. Um, I would love to know all your thoughts in the comments below about that, if you've got any experience there. But basically we've got a PZ7 screwdriver. We've got a um, slotted, uh, five and a half millimeter slotted there. And then we've got a um, four and a half millimeter slotted. So these are kind of the standard sizes I would usually use fairly often as an electrician anyway this one is quite exciting because this is it's um a three three mil hex key basically and what that is to do is is actually to loosen the screws in the supplier's cutout head they have this size and obviously it's nice because it's fully insulated and stuff rather than trying to do it with an allen key so that is pretty nice allen key size three cutters so you've got these lovely sharp cutters with the orange thousand volt insulated handles this one i'll talk to you about this what on earth why would you use a dentist mirror as an electrician there's a very good reason for that, which I'll show you in a minute. This is just like a knife to strip the outer sheath of the cables. But imagine you're working on underground cables, you know, these DNO concentric cables that they have running below the pavements and under the roads and everything like that. They have to work live, a lot of these guys, and so they rely on the 1000 volt insulating rating of these things. Um, and maybe that's why that they go with Boddington's because they're so confident in the quality of these tools. These are an absolute beast. And to be honest, I don't really know when I'll ever get a chance to use these, but again, massive set of water pump pliers, as some people call them, or I'd call them grips, basically thousand volt insulated. And this is really cool. My first ever insulated spanner, a 15 mil spanner, fully insulated so that you can basically work on live stuff. Now, I'm not recommending that you work on live stuff. You're never supposed to. And as electricians, yeah, we're just not supposed to work live. But even so, imagine you're working on an electrical installation and you've you've safely isolated it and everything, but you can never be 100% sure that the circuit is not going to be, uh, you know, livened up in some way at some point. So using insulated tools is a way, a sort of belt and braces way to protect yourself just in case in the very rare event that somebody does come along and liven it up while you're working on it. And obviously for the guys who do work live as part of their job, these tools are absolutely essential. What is this mirror for? I hear you ask. Well, it's not for looking to see if you've got cavities in your teeth. It's actually for running under a bus bar 
in a consumer unit, for example, to see if all the terminals are tight or not. You can run it along underneath and you can see whether the terminals are tight or loose. Really useful for us as domestic electricians to be able to do that, just to see uh, in tight spaces to see whether terminals are correctly uh, placed whether conductors are correctly placed within the terminals and it's completely plastic so you're never going to have to worry about getting a shock from a live bus bar by just running this underneath whereas obviously if you use a normal metal dentist mirror that could be an issue. These cutters are yeah, similar size to your normal kind of uh, barco croppers so perfect for cutting tails and they do feel really, really good quality. The insulation on these, I mean, if I'm totally honest, it just feels like they've dipped it in plastic, basically. So it doesn't feel like these four, it doesn't feel that good in terms of quality. It's just, you know, it's like they basically dipped it in thousand volt plastic. That's my rudimentary assessment of the quality of these things. but. I say that, but I have no doubt in the quality. It's just that it's not like your Nipex ones or whatever, where they they've got different layers, different sets of color, and everything, and they they feel a little bit more grippy. These feel very basic in terms of you know they do what they say on the tin kind of thing. I'm guessing that the reason the DNOs trust these so much is because this plastic insulation is completely sealed. It's it is dipped, so it's done in one smooth motion although i'm sure there's probably a couple of layers but there's no gaps there's no room for you know a seam splitting or something like that because it is dipped so that's probably why they're more confident in these than they would be in maybe a nipex pair of thousand volt insulated cutters that's just me thinking out loud but as i said i would love to know all your thoughts in the comments about this let me know if you use these at all on a daily basis, especially if you are a meter fitter or a person who works for DNO. I'd love to know the story about these. You know, why Boddingtons? Why are they the go to for a lot of people who work on those kind of situations? All of your thoughts in the comments below would be much appreciated. And as always, I'll leave a link to all of these products where you can get them in the description. So if you are interested, I'm definitely going to find myself using the Boddington screwdrivers on a regular basis. I just feel like those handles are really, really ergonomic and good quality. Definitely a good competitor for the Klein screwdrivers that I use fairly often. Um, and if I have any updates on this, I'll be sure to let you know. One standout feature of this, I think, is the length of the shafts on these screwdrivers. A lot longer than your average screwdriver, which again, there might be a reason for that but I don't really know what it is, so let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. It is free to subscribe, and we do post regular videos, and in a minute there's going to be a few amazing videos popping up before your eyes that you can sit back, have a cup of tea, and watch a few more. If you love tools, subscribe to Tools for Sparks, and we'll see you on the next one.